what's, uh, what's the plan tonight then? What we're doing, we're having a sound um, attenuator fitted. Um, and that's basically a posh word for a baffle fitted to the extract. Um, it's just to reduce the noise of the extract when it's going, only really while we're open. My concern is that we don't cause any more noise than we have to for the, for the residents and the people who live around us really. Every bit of equipment we've got has got a, um, a shelf life and the, this one's now 20 years old. We're doing replacing all the air conditioning and also while we're at it, changing all the extracts as well. You've been there 20 years on this yep. side? Yeah. Yep. Really? 20 years this year. 20 years on, does that make you feel old? 20 yes. years on this side. <laughs> it makes me yeah. feel old. Yeah, I, mean, I, didn't come here, I didn't come here straight away when we opened. I actually was over opening up the Roxon branch at the time. Um, and I moved over here about three years after it opened, so uh, and then took over running it. So just while we're about it and going back into Norfolk history, mm -hmm. it, do you remember Roy's burning down? Uh, yeah, I actually. Uh, yeah, you. you had I, a got, I got a phone call at half three that morning, um, saying that there was a fire at Roy's. I think we'd only been open about four weeks. That's right. Yeah. So I panicked, thinking it was outside, and it wasn't. It was the department store. So. Uh, I lived on Earlham Road at the time, so I got in the car, drove out there, got to the bridge, was stopped by the fireman. Um, where are you going? What are you doing? So I said, well, I'm from McDonald's. I've come in to open up for you. So, so they let me through. So we opened up. I then phoned, uh, phoned a few of the staff and got their mums and dads. And first thing was, do you know what time of morning it is? And when I explained the problem, yeah, no problem. So we had about three or four crew came in. We opened up early. We were open by about half four, quarter to five. And I think at one point, it was around about 45 firemen there at one point. Yeah, I remember. Night has fallen and it's 1am in Tuxford. The engineering team have a short window of time to get the new not-so-noisy aircon unit bolted down without disturbing the beauty sleep of the locals. Or this McDonald's is going to be less drive-through and more open-top convertible. I think that might be the crane on his way round. So I think we might not be in the best place. So the deal is he's going to come in here and uh, he's going to crank it up and, and lift all the kit onto the roof. Yeah, we've still got a lorry to come in with the air conditioning kit in the back of it. So he'll basically lift it off the lorry and then crane it up onto the roof. And then eventually then when the old units are finished with, they've got to be craned off again and put on the lorry and taken away. Kevin might be all smiles now, but as the east wind whips up, it's touch and go as to whether that heavy aircon unit is going on the reef or through it. That is, that is a little bit bigger than I was expecting. That's probably about three times the size as I think they need, but never mind. If, uh, if in doubt, bring a big one. It's quite a lot of responsibility actually there, isn't there? Because that is a whopping grey... Like you don't want the chains going out the no. road or, or something like that, do yeah, you? Yeah, no, I mean, they've got... Well, they've come out fairly kitted up. I mean, I think there's about five guys just here for the for the crane. Um, so they they obviously know what they're doing. We've got the crane that's going ahead. We're hoping to get it done. But the rest of the guys will be here uh, five o'clock in the morning, um, getting the store back up and running, air conditioning wise, um, getting back, back going again. Yeah. Definitely with a job then. You wouldn't want to be doing it in the middle of the summer. No, but we do all, all year round. So you know, at least it's not raining. So, in all seriousness, though, you you need to get this kit on the roof tonight, though, because you've got to go on the roof tonight. Yeah, this, this stuff's got to be on the roof as quick as we can, because um, I need the crane down, because I don't want to disturb the neighbours um, any more than we really, really have to. Um, the lorry then has got to get over to the airport store where we're fitting the, the baffle. Um, so yeah, so we need really need the two cranes out of the way, really before half twelve at the very very latest. And what time are you operational tomorrow morning? There, uh, we open to the public again at six o'clock in the morning.